Hello everybody and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at Elk Mountain Ranch Placeable Pack by Elk Mountain Modding. But before that, this video is brought to you by William Chapman. Thank you for being a farm baron. So I have here in front of you a massive placeable pack by Elk Mountain Modding. Overall, it includes 27 items now you can find the download link down in the description below it is released over at elk mountain mining's facebook page so this is for pc only sorry guys that are on console now what i think what we're going to do is walk through all of the items in the pack via the build mode show you where they all are show you what they look like and how they rotate the costs and everything and then I want to walk around and show you all of these items in much closer detail. So when we go in here into build mode, under sheds, we have four sheds that are a part of this pack. And when you download this pack, you're going to need to unzip the download because it is zipped up. And inside of that are three separate files that you need to put into your mod folder. If you are missing anything from the pack that I'm showing here, then very likely you did not um, move all three of those items into your mod folder. If you download it and just put the file you download into your mod folder, it is not gonna work. You do need to extract it. So we have the hay storage barn, which is located right here. $14,000 to buy. It doesn't really rotate on center. Uh, if he does update the pack, I would like to see him if possible set all these so they do rotate on center it's just my thought process that i think i think it's easier to place things when they rotate on center as opposed to kind of off center like this then we have for twelve thousand dollars a storage for small implements with two lean twos on either side and it does rotate more on its center and for twenty thousand dollars we have a large open shed for storing implements this rotates, interesting enough, on this one corner post. It's kind of an interesting. There you have that. For $5,000, then we have a small storage shed. It does have a small door that opens and closes. And those are the four sheds. There isn't anything under the silos or silo extensions. Under containers, we have a ranch fuel storage tank. 10,000 liters of fuel. And then we have $1,000. We have a water fill trigger located right here. Under tools, we have the ranch workshop, $150,000. It does also rotate on center. Under production, there isn't anything under factories. Under selling points, we have the outdoor wood boiler for the ranch. And that is located right here. And that will accept logs, wood chip bales, baled straw or loose straw, and wood chips. That is $4,000. Greenhouses, we have the large greenhouse located right here. Have some open and then outside and inside beds for our produce. Under generators, we have a windmill. The windmill will provide us $720 a monthly income on easy economy. On normal and hard economy, that is going to be different. Under animals, we have a massive open range cow pasture. 250 cows, $75,000. Now you see the blue. The blue is there to aid you in placing this and also to aid you if you wish to fence this in so i've got that actually placed over here and i did go ahead and kind of just put a fence in just to kind of demonstrate how big this whole entire area is but you can see you do have a blue background that when you place it you can go and disable it but that kind of gives you a general idea of how big of an area we are talking about here then we have the ranch barn, which is located right here. Doesn't quite rotate on center, but it does rotate full. 
360 degrees, 150 cows in there. Under horses, we have the horse pasture, which is located right here. $55,000. Holds eight horses. There aren't any custom pig items. Under sheep, we have a open range sheep pen. I do wish that he would have used the same treatment as he did with the open range cows with the open range sheep so that when we place this we have an idea of how far the sheep will go in range but you can see they come back here a fair little bit i just kind of placed it there i didn't really know how far the sheep would venture but they venture out a fair little bit this will old hold 100 sheep chickens we have free range chickens and i placed those right there now this will hold 30 chickens you can see they don't seem to wander too terrible far from the, the area but again i do wish that you could toggle the blue on and off for this so you can see the area that the chickens will roam if you are then going to place this down you could have a good general idea of how far or how close you can place other things around it or you could put in some chicken fencing if you wanted to make them fenced in chickens as opposed to free range there isn't anything under bees or anything under other now under decoration we do have a fair bit of decorative bits one of them is a small floodlight which we have placed right there for ten dollars and then under others we have all of the other decorative bits which are mostly over here in this general area we have the entryway with gates and this sign i am really really kind of impressed with as you can see, we can see through the sign. The sign is translucent, right? Elk Mountain Ranch. Now, let me rotate it. I can still read it. It's not backwards. I don't know what black magic that is, but that is amazing. I've seen signs before where you place them one way and the sign reads backwards. This one reads the correct way, no matter which way you place it. Super awesome black magic, whatever that is. And we have a outhouse. For, you know, the outhouse business. We have another sign. Two-sided Elk Mountain Ranch sign. We have a cattle guard. You can then paint mud, gravel, whatever, under that texture and then place that down. We have some decorative stones. A single decorative stone. Then we have a rock slab for a walkway. I went ahead and placed a couple of these already, but you can see we can just place these down. Easy peasy. Then we have a small landscape post with lantern that is located right there. Now we move over to a couple more. This one is located right here. Now you see the image. It shows you a couple trees, but when I go to place it, the trees aren't there. I'm not really sure why that is. I have uh, let him know over in Discord as to... Uh, as to when I place these, I don't see the trees that are in the preview image. And then we have a large decoration oak tree. Well, not really. No oak tree there, but we do have the flower bed and the little wagon. And then we have a placeable bridge. That we could put down right there. And that is all 27 items. So now let's go ahead and kind of walk around and just get a much closer look at each and every one of them. So we have our two kind of flower beds here that show in the preview a tree, but we don't have a tree, but we've got that one there. Got this one that is encompassed by a rock. We have our placeable stones. I went ahead and just put a couple down here. We've got our kind of flower bed with a wagon wheel and lantern post. We have our Elk Mountain Ranch sign. It does have some lights that I'm sure will come on at night. Our cattle guard. Our livestock guard. We have our outhouse with a functioning door to do all of your outhouse business. Our windmill that again is going to pay us money per hour. 
This does not have the ability to give us water. This is just a decorative pipe. We have our stone pathway, and I put two of these down when I was doing the kind of setup for this. Here we have our wood burning boiler. This is the cell point for logs, wood chip bales, wood chips, and loose and baled straw. You come up here and you'll have the cell wood icon right there. We have our placeable bridge. Our little placeable floodlight that we can put down, kind of do a little walkway. We have our placeable greenhouse. We have our water trigger. We have where the pallets are going to spawn for tomatoes, lettuce, and strawberries. We can go inside and get to our activation trigger here. Also, this will hold 20,000 liters of water, and you can see we can activate all three vegetables or fruits, whatever you want to call them, at once, should you so wish. Let's go on over here and go ahead and check out our sheep. We have the area for our wool to spawn. We have our food trough. The sheep will require water. And then over here, we have our animal delivery point. 100 sheep total in this area. And like I said, they wander a fair bit back. And I would like to be able to toggle that blue placement marker. Just to help you figure out how far back they go. Because, well, I just kind of guessed. And luckily, they don't go way, way far back into the building. But they do have a fair, decent little range. We have our chicken coop. We have our egg spawn point, our chicken buy point, delivery point. 30 chickens in this free range area. And then our food trough. Let's move on to our workshop. The Elk Mountain Ranch workshop. This thing is pretty cool in detail. We have operational doors on all sides. We have a workshop trigger located right here at the bench. And then to add to the fun and excitement, we also have a functional lift. So you walk up over here to the controls, left click, and you can raise and lower the lift. The workshop trigger is located in this general vicinity. Also, And we have an area for a little office. Let's move on. As far as our diesel goes, here is the ranch diesel storage. So we have our diesel fill point and then we can buy or deliver fuel, should we so wish, up to 10,000 liters. We do have a water trigger right here this is to fill your water tanks one of our sheds located right here there isn't a light switch that i've been able to find so these lights are going to come on automatically at night with a lean to on either side we have a small implement storage with a sliding gate sliding door our larger shed right here Again, we have lights, but there isn't a light switch, so they're going to come on automatically. We have our bale shed placed right here. And then we're going to move into our animal areas. We have our horse pasture located right here. Inside, we have light switches that we can turn on and off. particular area is going to hold eight horses. We do have a little bit of a hayloft that you can get in, up into there as well. And then we have our horse delivery point right here. Eight horses. We have our water point. This is just decorative. We do not have any sort of horse manure that I understand. And then around on this side of the building, 
we have the food trough for the horses. We'll move on to the second to last item of this pack. We have the big cow barn. Inside here we have our food trough. We have our milk fill point. I'm pretty sure this is for milk because inside of here you see our milk tanks. We have a water trigger located right here. This is going to be for our slurry I am fairly sure of. bit of a loft up here. Do these doors open? They do indeed. So we can store at least those open. We can store little bales up here or whatnot. And then our horse or not our horse but our cow drop off is over here at the chute. And we have 150 cows in this particular pen. Now let's move over here to the free range, 250 cow area. Now I just tossed a fence in here super fast just to give you a general idea of how big this area is. So you would obviously put a gate in here so you can get in and out. All of our triggers are located inside of here. We have our, our water. We have our delivery trigger for our cows. We have our food right there. This is going to be for our milk. So this is where we're going to come to pick up our milk. And then just a little ways off from that, we're going to walk. And now we have in our F1 menu, hide marker. So we're going to hit that. You see a little sign comes up that says activate placement marker. And now we see that blue plane. So the blue plane is level. This field is obviously not level. So we're not seeing the upper edge of it. But we are seeing the lower edge of it. And that is to aid in placement. As well as if you want to fence it in. Well, it helps you see visually where the nav mesh is. And therefore you're going to know how far out you should put in your fence line. And then when you're done, you obviously don't want to see this blue field everywhere. So you're going to come up here to this white sign and we're going to left click and we're going to watch that vanish. Wow, that is it everybody. So let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of the Elk Mountain Modding's ranch pack? It includes 27 different items from placeable animal areas to sheds to decorative bits greenhouses we have a cell point we just pretty much have almost one of everything in this particular pack and until next time happy farming